Welcome combatants. Now, could it be possible that we will possibly get some other classical skins to go with the seasons of these invasion villains? So this is your boy Future Boy. Do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me to future for more content. So yes, when it comes to this, we obviously know we had the Spectre season of Scorpion, and with us getting that season, we got to have the invasion version of his skin as well once we beat him. So we know we will get the invasion villain um skins, the bosses for them. We will get their skins. But along with that we did get a first classic deadly alliance skin which was the inferno scorpion skin yes we did get the inferno scorpion skin as a part of the season of the spectre so could it be possible that going forward we will have other classical skins that will go alongside with them so this goes in hand in hand with obviously looking at obviously nitara she will get a skin that kind of is similar to her original classical type skin but not exactly the same way they've kind of altered it a bit so is there a possibility that we will get something like this and have her actual deadly alliance skin now obviously we all know it won't be exactly the same as that because they can't do that nowadays so they would alter it and make it more modernized but we would get a classical type skin because you can see they've kind of tried to attempt it with this one but it's kind of a newer design but taking aspects from that but i would like to see that classical skin return for this season for the blood moon that it's going to be in nitara inspired now thunder take you season which was supposed to be after this but now it's moved we could get the deadly alliance raiden one yes i do think that we will get that skin i know it's supposed to be favored on dark raiden but we will get his skin anyway but we would get this version there is another deadly alliance one where his hair's out but that one i'm kind of iffy about if they would give us that one but the normal deadly alliance one definitely they would give us we will be getting the dark raiden skin once we beat him we will acquire that skin and i'm looking forward to getting that skin because the dark raiden one and especially if he has the orange lightning boy that's gonna be so good but like i said that other skin i don't think they would most likely go for this one as much as it does look really cool i don't think they would go for that one with raiden whereas this one they would most likely give us that version of raiden and i'm not uh, i'm not disagreeing with that i think that's good but i still up for the mk2 outfit of raiden that would be something really sweet but we know we'll get those classics now for Shang Tsung's one, we know that it's going to be Melina inspired, but they might give us the Deadly Alliance Shang Tsung skin. We've seen it in the story and in obviously MK11, but it's their own version, their own telling of it. So they would most likely give us an exact replica of the original with the sashes going down on him and everything because the new one doesn't have it. He has a similar red type of style, but it's not exactly the same. But they could also give us the other alternate out of outfit, which is based from his MK2 type look the Shang Tsung with the little bowler hat on so we could get that version but burgundy instead they might give us that classical look but for Melina because she wasn't in Deadly Alliance they would probably give us this version of her a deception type look Melina skin or maybe they won't give her one at all and they'll just give us the one that her boss wears but if they could this would be a very 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 good look for Melina to have I think a lot of people would like it especially because we know they, we can't get that version, but they would modernize it, so at least we'd still get something for her. Now, Sub Zero, he is now the third season, so we know we're going to get Dark Sub Zero skin, which we've already seen, but will we be getting this version of Sub Zero? Though it is Kwai Liang, the same way that um, Kwai Liang Scorpion has um hanzo scorpion and um, did their line skin we would probably get one of these two skins now i do think they might actually do this one instead because his hair's already showing the behanses so they can just put the sides gray and i can see them completely doing it with this can you imagine him having those down there and maybe there's a black underlay on top underneath the um clothing so he's not naked really and then have the gray at the sides i can fully see them doing that with this outfit and making it look really cool and i do think that they will go this route with a lot of these though i will leave it open that they will do other skins for other characters for other seasons and stuff who aren't in deadly alliance and just give cameo ones as well because i think that would be the right move to make giving cameos skins from their deadly alliance appearance or even other older games or the classical games you know the classical classical skins are coming but to have them based on the game that this is kind of a retelling of deadly alliance it writes itself to be fair but let me know what do you think of these people do you think we will get those type of skins for each seasonal invasion or which ones would you like to see but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy heading back to the future stay frosty peeps peace